Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be using watercolor generally for doing my artwork. And the first color that I'll be using is for the light jemmy. So this is from Daniel's. And I'm also using tallow blue. This artwork again is entirely intuitive and I don't have any uh, end picture in my mind. I'm just going to allow the process to take place on its own. I'm just putting out a little bit of water on the paint so that the paint move around a little more. So the key is to not use a lot of water because if we use a lot of water, paper will start to buckle up a lot and as you can see my paper is approaching that stage. I'm just trying to fit. With abstract, we say that um, a little is a lot. So there are times I tend to overwork and it kind of ends up looking like a mess. So the key is to know where we have to stop. If we keep working on a painting continuously, there are chances that we might overwork and that's something we don't want. So right now I kind of like how it's starting to look because um, everything is balancing out and there's no dominant color anywhere. Again, I'm just adding a little more of um, water and I'll, I'll also be adding granulating medium so that the colors move around a little more. I'm also adding alcohol here because the alcohol kind of helps the paint to move around a little more as you can see how beautifully the colors are moving around when I'm adding alcohol and if you want this kind of an effect you can use alcohol or if you don't want this kind of effect you don't have to use it but it's important to note that using alcohol is different when compared to using the granulating medium, the effects are entirely different. Next, I'm adding a little more of for the light genuine, and I'm just trying to um, bring in a few shapes inside so that um, I just want to see where these shapes take me. Again, I'm just trying to fill the paper and I'm just trying to see what I can get out of this into the piece. I'm just trying to keep it in a tilted angle so that the paints move in one direction. And I'm just going to keep this for a while and I'm going to come back to it. A little more of water keep the paint moving so I have left it for some time and kind of like how it looks next I'm just adding a mix of um, titanium white and brilliant yellow so it kind of looks like a warm white and I'm just trying to add it as a frame for the painting. The warm white that I just added is kind of looking separate. So I'm just going to blend in a little bit of blue inside the white color. So now you can see how my 
um paper has started to buckle and i'm just trying to use my paint brush to just make sure that the, that the paper is flat and also the paints are free enough to move around and i'm kind of liking this painting at this stage I'm also adding a little more of sepia here. Just trying to see how much granulation I can get. Now I'm just getting an idea of where this painting might lead me to. And I'm trying to see if I can make a waterfall out of this abstract piece. This kind of looks like it can be a waterfall. I'm just trying to draw the line and that line is going to be the water level for the waterfall and I'm just trying to give more structure to the water so when we have the beads of water towards the end of the paper we can always try to remove it as soon as it forms with a tissue paper because it's important we don't want paper to look very flimsy at the edges so it's important that we remove the water immediately I'm just trying to create some reflections in the water and at the same time I'm trying to give it a little bit of structure. So right now I am trying to give a little more of definition and I am adding the sky with tallow blue. For this, you can also use um, cerulean blue, but I prefer to use tallow blue because tallow blue is already there on my paper. Using the same color again uh, will help the painting look together. I'm just adding a little bit of white, uh, blending out white into the tallow blue color. I'm just spraying water and I'm allowing the color to flow down. And I think I would like to still add the wash after this. I'm taking my white wash now and I'm just adding my white wash and I'm just allowing the color to flow on its own. Now I'm just doing a few final details. Do like and subscribe for more abstract artworks from me. Stay safe. Thank you.